Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Beauty Passion. Yes. Y'all, y'all read the title correctly. Our mom Warren has put a copyright claim on my last video, y'all. But before I get started with this video, I need you to like my video. I need you to like my video right now because you already know it's going to be great. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, who better? Who better? Ain't nobody better than Beauty Passion. Nobody. All right, listen. Today was just a normal, hot, sunny day in beautiful Chicago. And I'm just out and about in the sun, getting a suntan. And I get a notification. I'm like, a copyright? How I get a copyright when I already up? I uploaded this video. First of all, let's start there. I uploaded this video last night. <clears throat> Once I uploaded the video, it went through the YouTube copyright checks. Fine. Most of the time, my videos go through copyright checks because it's like I'm reacting to people who are videos already went through copyright checks. So most of the time, my videos don't get copyrighted. So when I see one that's copyrighted, I'd be like, what? And in the past, when I do post a video, I already know it's going to be copyrighted. Because like if I pop up and I'm singing in a car, a whole song, I know this is going to get copyrighted, but I don't care. I'm just going to put it up on my channel. Most of the time, my videos don't get copyrighted. I'm just being honest. If they do, I appeal them and I mostly win like 90% of my appeals. Okay, cool. So now I'm like, how did it get copyrighted when it already went through the first copyright check? Okay, cool. Let's see what's going on. So then I'm like, okay, what did they copyright? Because for one, in the last video, the beginning of our mind video, he put his, uh, like a little snippet of his song. And I'm like, oh, I hope this ain't copyrighted. But I knew it wasn't copyrighted because I had already put... A video with the with the song in it, it didn't get it didn't get copyrighted. So the song is not copyrighted. I'm gonna prove the song is not copyrighted. So then I'm like, okay, cool. The comp the song not copyrighted. What's the problem? Then I went into the email and I read it again. And this is what I found. The video title, okay, cool. The copyrighted content. Collab Armand Warren. Listen, I've been on YouTube for a long time. They are specific when they copyright whatever it is they copyright. Like, they tell you exactly why your video is copyrighted. If not, when you appeal it, they'll tell you why. When you appeal it, they'll be like, nah, we, it's still going to be copyrighted because woo out the bam. Okay, cool. This copyright claim was created. And I'm going to show y'all. It's going to say this copyright claim was created. That means somebody created the copyright claim on this video. Now, I did a little research because the person that, okay, it, it, they tell me who it is, Collab Armand Warren. Okay. The copyrighted, the, let me see, the company that, is responsible for copyrighting this video is called collab drm i had never none of my videos i got over 700 videos probably eight or nine hundred videos on my channel i've never seen nobody none of this i've never seen none of my videos get copyrighted by this company so that was kind of like well, who was this okay but then i'm like i started to do some research and I found out that YouTubers go with this company called Collab DRM. They collab with them to get videos copyrighted so they can get money from them. So say you don't have to come up with no money up front. You contact them. You When you feel like a, you want to copyright some content, you send them the content. They copyright it. They take a portion and then they send you a portion. I don't know what the, the split is. I don't know what the commissions is. But you get paid and they get paid. So the more videos you copyright through that company, the more money they make. And then you make some money along with them. That's why it's called a collab 
copyright because they're collabing with the content creator to copyright the video <laughs> so that's why he's his name is right here collab armand warren so he copyrighted the last video i don't know why because i i don't know why i don't know why he would because i don't know why out of all my videos he chose that video to copyright i don't know but whatever reason it is whatever reason it is okay so now i went on the internet I mean, I went back on YouTube to see, like, let me see if anybody else responded or reacted to his uh, vibe check video. So, this person, which I had had a beef with her earlier, was it this year or last year? Last year. Yeah, last year. I had a little beef with her, and then, you know, I, I just let that sizzle on out because I don't really want no beef with no youtube so um but this is the first one that came up in my news feed when i did a little research so i'm just gonna play this video so y'all can see that this song is not copyrighted so it can't be the song that been copyrighted it'll say too it'll say like whatever music company it'll say like this music company copyrighted this song when it say collab armand warren he copyrighted the song. I mean, he copyrighted the video. All right, so let me show y'all. Okay. So you ain't going to be able to see it at the bottom, but I'm going to play it back so you can see it. Hold on. Hold on. So right there. You see where it said claim by Collab DRM? That's the name of the company that um, content creators can collab with to get... Um, the video copyrighted so listen so right here it say a copyright claim was created so that means somebody went and created a copyright claim for this video youtube didn't do it that's why they had to make sure they said we didn't do this somebody created a content copyright claim somebody created a copyright claim for this video all right cool when i was doing some research oh before i did some research i said okay cool let me see if it's yellowed or red when i seen red i was like oh okay he won't smoke <laughs> he won't smoke for real like red that mean you're not getting no money from this video none so you can tell when a youtuber or a content creator put a copyright on a video they don't even want to share the money with you they just want any money that comes out of this video is going right to them like when it's yellow that means YouTube get a part or whoever's got a copyright claim on it. They get a portion and you get a portion when it's yellow. Which, who want to share their money with anybody? But when it's red, that means you're not getting no money. That's how I know he did it. Okay, the next thing. After I seen red, I was, I seen red. <laughs> but I'm not mad. I'm mad, but I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's petty to me, to be honest. It's real petty. To get on here and copyright any content creators, if I'm up, okay, I'm not going to say it's petty. Because, to be honest, that Tasha K video, he, I, I, that's the first video he should have copyrighted. I don't know if he copyrighted it or not, but all she had was like a picture up. I don't think, oh no, she had a video up too. So anyway, that that video should have been the first video that got copyrighted because she went in on Armand and video. I had told y'all I hated that video because the way she did it. Okay, cool. But anyway, when I seen red, I said, oh, let me see what's going on around these YouTube streets. So then I, I searched it and see if anybody else reacted to his video and see, like, did he have any views? I can go into VIDIQ and see if it's copyright. Like, I can, I can go and see if the video was copyrighted or not. So this is the first video that came up. Okay, so this is Shamika and Tamika TV. She's reacting to Vibe Check. And this video is still live on her channel. Um, she's reacting to the full song. And it is not copyrighted. So that means that the song is not copyrighted. Armand has never copyrighted his songs. I have I, I react to all his songs. They've never been copyrighted. I've never got a copyright strike. So this right here proves that this song is not copyrighted. Y'all listen.
Okay. Y'all see how long that, that, that video is like 14 minutes or something. It's not copyrighted. Okay. This snippet is in the video that was copyrighted. So if this snippet or if this song is copyrighted in the video before that one, it would have had a copyright strike on it if this snippet was copyrighted or anything. This cop, this snippet was in the last video I put it up. This snippet I'm finna show y'all is on somebody else's channel. I'm gonna show y'all the names. The name is gonna come up. Her video is still live and it's not copyrighted. And it's the same snippet that's in my last video. So this this snippet isn't copyrighted either. But for some reason, my video got copyrighted. So let me show y'all. Okay, y'all see that? So basically, I'm trying to say, I don't know why he would copyright that video. <laughs> That's what I'm basically trying to say. I mean, I'm still kind of like, I, I'm irritated and I'm not irritated. Because it's like, y'all was y'all was gassing him up anyway to, to copyright and to do anything he needed to do. Y'all be gassing him up anyway. And he just went and copyrighted a video that didn't even make sense. First of all, let me start here. Let me just start here. How do you copyright somebody's content that supports you? I support his videos. I support his vlogs. I support his music. How do you how do you put a copyright strike on that? Okay. Only thing that he might complain about is the clickbait titles. But who gives a... Tasha K went to court because she was actually in the video hating on Cardi B. <laughs> That's the difference. She was she does she does hate videos. I to this day have not done one hate video. Not one. Every video I put up has been opinions, assumptions, and reactions to what I am looking at on screen. I have never put up a hate video. I don't understand why somebody would go as to far as far enough as to put a content strike on somebody that supports them. I'm a little irritated. I'm a little tired. I really don't feel like going into like everything because I had a good day and I just don't want to make a, a mean video. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to make a mean video. I just pretty much want to put the video up to just say like, I got a con I got a copyright claim. Now, did I did. I'm gonna appeal it. I'm going to appeal it, but it's like you got to appeal it with the collab, whatever DRM. You had you could you can appeal it with them, and you could appeal it with YouTube. I mean, I guess. I mean, I don't know if I'm. A, I, I, I mean, I guess I can appeal it. I mean, I don't know. I'm just irritated, I guess. I'm a little irritated because it's like, why do people bother me? <laughs> I just don't understand why people always bother me. And I don't bother nobody. I get up here, I do my reaction videos just like the other reaction people do. Do I do great reactions? Yeah, I feel like I do great reactions. I feel like I do great reaction videos. Why do people want to bother me? I get up here and do the same thing that everybody else do. Why do people want to bother me? It's been like that all my life. People bother me. They pick every... I know it's something on me. I know it's something on me. I don't know what it is. I know it's something on me because it's like... It's like I'm great. And it's like people do not like someone that's great. I just don't understand that. Like... Everybody else do reaction videos. They don't, I've never seen nobody get up here and be like, our mom put a copyright claim or somebody put a copyright claim. I'm, I haven't heard that yet. But here I am. <laughs> here I am. At 1130 at night. Telling y'all I got a copyright claim on my video. It's just, I just get irritated by it. You know, but it's just one more hurdle that I got to go. I'm not going to stop doing reaction videos. 
I'm still going to do reaction videos on him, Regine, and anybody else I want to do them on. So if he want to put a copyright claim on all his... And that's the first video that I reacted to since I've been back to YouTube. I haven't reacted to none of his videos. I didn't react to the one with him and Legacy when they was in L.A. I haven't reacted to none of his video. That was the first video that I reacted to. I damn near want to say, oh, yeah. I damn near, have I reacted to any of his videos? I don't think I reacted to none of Armand videos. Not recently. At least not in the last two months, I know, for sure. So the first time I reacted to his video, he put a copyright claim on it. Like, we're playing. But anyway... Whatever it is, however he feel, however he want to fight the videos or whatever, let him do whatever he want to do. I don't care. At this point, I don't care. I'm still going to get up and do my, my YouTube videos like I've been doing. I'm not going to let nobody discourage, discourage me. And I'm not going to let no none of y'all people discourage me from doing what I like doing. I like doing YouTube. Y'all don't like nobody being real. Turn me off, baby. Turn me off. Simple as that. Turn this, turn this, this, this video off and turn block me, because over here is nothing fake over here. I say what I feel and I keep it real. <laughs> so if you don't, if you don't like that kind of content, don't come. And the reason why he focused on me is because I be telling the truth. But you know what though? It's just like anything else. People try to silence people that tell the truth. They try to silence you. No matter what you do or what you say, they just want you to shut up because you too real. They rather listen to the fake people. And I'm just not one of them. I'm irritated by it, but I'm just this is just, I'm I'm just gonna address this one time. That's it. I'm not gonna address anything else about a copyright client. If he put a copyright client on arrest them until ten years from now, let him do what he wanna do. I don't care. I'm still gonna get up here and I'm gonna react to what I wanna react to. And it just is what it is. And with him being a content creator, he should understand what kind of he just. I just reacted to his Twitter um, tweet the other day when he was talking about um, how people were reacting to clickbait titles. And then you go and put a content strike on a clickbait title because that's all it was. If you look back at the last video, I'm gonna tag the video in the description box. I didn't say nothing malicious in that video about him because I never do. All it is is reactions on what I see. But anyway, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell on that. I just want to put this video up just expressing how I feel about this content strike. And that I know that it came from him. I mean, I showed y'all the receipts, so I don't know. But let me take a deep breath. It is what it is. I don't know. I'm irritated, but I'll be okay. All right. Thank you all for watching. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. I don't know how long I'm going to be up or I might be going out somewhere. So I don't know. I just want to put this video up. So, uh, but I meet you in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about our mom putting a content strike. I mean, a content, a copyright strike on my video. Let me know how you feel about it. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Hecky now, Joe. It's Beauty Passion, and I'm out.